Blue Cat's Patchwork is a versatile virtual patch bay that can be used to organize other plugins, both audio effects or instruments. It can be used to create simple effects chains through to complex multiple parallel processing chains and unique multi synth virtual instruments. All are quick and easy to set up, and once created, these arrangements can then be saved and used if they were just one VST. It can be inserted into your host software from either your effects selection process for the audio version or from your instrument selection process for the synth version. Once the interface is open, it's fully configurable to suit the task in hand. It can hold from 1 to 64 different effects or synths with various routing options. The interface can be sized as required. Click on a plugin slot to reveal a menu that can be used to load a plugin. Let's take a closer look at the concept of the plugin using a relatively simple arrangement first. Along the very top is the menu and preset management area. From the menu, there are several commands, including options to adjust settings, call up presets, and view information. Some of these commands and options are also duplicated further along the toolbar. Beneath that is a row of buttons for turning the plugin on or off, setting the opacity, access to settings, show and hide the meters, adjust interface size, and general preferences. Two widgets can be used to adjust the number of rows and columns used and therefore the number of slots available for effects or instruments. To the far right is an output mix control for controlling the balance between dry and processed signals. Alt click on a control to return it to its default setting or double click to enter a value directly. On the left of the main area is an input meter which displays input level. This is controlled by the input gain knob and changes here are reflected in the meter. If there is only one or two columns displayed, the plugins are processed in series. The signal flow is from top to bottom through the first column, and then passed to the second column where the signal flow is also from top to bottom. Finally, the signal goes to the output gain section and output level is displayed in the output meter. Adding a third column or more introduces parallel processing. The first pre-column still processes in series from top to bottom, but the signal is now split and enters each row where the signal flows from left to right. Each row of the parallel processing section also has its own input and output level controls. The signal also flows directly from pre to post processing, providing a dry signal that can be combined with the process signals using the mix control we looked at earlier. This arrangement makes for a very versatile setup with up to eight process signals and a dry signal that can be summed as required prior to final output. A simple use for this is parallel compression. Put this on your drum bus with a one row, three column configuration, then load in a compressor to the first pre-column set for real light compression. Then load a second compressor into the parallel slot and set up for heavy compression to really squash those drums. Now use the mix control to blend the unprocessed signal with the signal that passes through the two compressors. Each processor can easily be turned on or off or have its interface accessed by clicking on the relevant icon in its slot. Better still, this setup can be saved as a preset and easily called up into other projects as required. Of course, this is a very simplistic use. Add more rows and columns to increase the available plugin slots and the number of parallel processing lines. And remember that synths can be set up in exactly the same way to create some rich, complex, unique sounds. The possibilities are limited only by your imagination. Here I have three VST instruments loaded in parallel. One set up for a bass sound, another as a lead, and the other a pad. Use the post gain controls to create a unique blend of all three, thus creating a completely unique and fresh sound. Filters and effects can also be added into the chains for even greater possibilities and flexibility. Just save it as a preset for easy recall into other projects. Here's another example with multiple effects processors. Reamping in one parallel chain, delay on another, and a filter on the third. 
And that's Blue Cat's Patchwork Effect and Synth, a fantastically versatile virtual patch bay for creating completely unique synth and effects combinations.